So can you tell me your name and your position? Sure, Jennifer Porter, and I'm a senior advisor at the Institute of Coaching. And um, do you have another position in addition to that? I do. I'm a leadership coach, and I work with uh, companies with their leaders um, individually and in groups. Can you tell me um, how you see your role as a senior advisor to the Institute? So my background um, is as an operations executive, which is not a typical place to come from, I think, when you get into coaching. Um, but what I love is building organizations and helping them thrive. And um, I also love the important empirical underpinnings um, of coaching that exist that people don't know about. And so I see the Institute as having this vision of bringing all this rich and rigorous data and research to coaches to use and to help them explain the work that they do and learn from. As the Institute starts to grow, I think what, when Carol and I started talking about my being involved, what she saw where I could be helpful is in bringing all the organizational building skills that I have to the Institute to help them really build and become a thriving and successful um, organization that can do all the good work that they want to do. Great. And how do you see it having grown in the last couple of years? From my understanding from the founding, it started really as a kernel of an idea. Um, and and quickly some team, a team came together to get it off the ground. And what I see is it going from that kernel of an idea to I would sort of say we're in the adolescent years now, if you sort of use a, a child growing metaphor. Um, and the adolescent years can be a little uncomfortable. Um, there's lots of good things happening, but there's also a lot of things to sort of sort out. Um, and I think the things to sort out are how do we best communicate with the various folks that we're involved with, whether they be coaches or employers or people in the academic world, what, um, what information is most useful to them, how to present it in the best way, how often do they want to hear from us, uh, how, should the, how should the conference evolve, things like that. So we're in that growing stage of really thinking about all the different possibilities so that we can have an organization that really closely meets the needs of the community we're serving. What I hear in your description, Jennifer, is your operational background. Yes. <laughs> and your operational eye, and that's fabulous because it's a crucial piece of any growing organization yeah. to have that overview and to have that view screen. Thank you. Um, can you talk a little bit about the potential you see in the Institute? Yeah, it's really exciting. Um, this is the first conference I've been to, and what's been fun for me is meeting people who had no idea that any of this existed. And many people sort of came here by accident. They heard about it and they show up and their eyes just light up and they say, wow, I had no idea this all existed. Of course, I then say, are you a member of the ICPA? You should be because here's everything else you can have access to all the time. But I see a future of um, really rigorous research really coming together uh, with folks that are doing this important work. And I love the metaphor of the bridge, right? And the, and the cables and the support. Um, and really bridging from all that great research that's happening to the actual execution and tactics that are happening um, in the world. And all that data and, and, and body of evidence isn't having impact without the coaches who are bringing it forward and, and having it have impact. So if you were to meet uh, somebody, an established coach, mm -hmm. that didn't know about the Institute, um, how would you describe to them the benefit? of becoming a member or participating? Wow, there's a bunch of benefits. One is the community and finding other like-minded coaches uh, to share ideas and best practices and questions with. Uh, it's a really terrific community. Two is the incredible body of content. Um, the website has articles, it has uh, webinars, it has learning tours. Um, and these are very high quality, well thought out, very professional sets of information that even to a very established coach with a lot of back with a lot of experience bring a lot of new information and brings it in a way that makes it very accessible and fun. And for the younger coaches, the ones just uh, <laughs> the newer ones, right. I should say, not necessarily younger, starting out, is it the same, different? What do you see? I think it's the same set of information, and I think for them it's a really approachable way to learn some of this. So they don't have to read the academic articles, which can be a little daunting if you don't have that training. Um, it's an easier way to get access to some of this information and a little less intimidating than having to either you know, hear some of these people speak or read those articles and be able to have access to it in this way and to the community. And it's a really warm community. People are willing to talk to folks at all stages of their coaching practice.